Oh, this is the video I am going to dedicate to the husband of Slovenian president. This one here, Natasha Pirtz Musar. This is the first female president of Republic of Slovenia. She is about 55 years old and the, the lady actively on behalf of Milan Kuchan, uh, actively on behalf of Borut Pahor, Darnoshek, Turk, have flirted with me since 1995. This was, they claim me, the lady for you. The lady of your heart who became a president lately of independent Republic of Slovenia, Natasha Pirtz Musar. But this video, which if I would dedicate to her, it would summarize on nothing other than torture. It was nothing other than physical and psychological abuse. Summarized, it was be for me to tell anything about it, it would be summarized into nothing other than violence. Uh, mixed with a certain issues, these people would take me to Croatia, they would take me to wherever they would vacation, and that was exactly the case with almost everybody involved from Slovenia. If they got involved a little bit more, that's basically exactly that would have happened. Yeah? Why would they do the stuff like this? Oh, it, it was always about excuse. It was always about, oh, no, we did not. We have him over there. It was quite contrary, this and that. But behind the closed doors of their homes, inside of the government villas, government buildings, it was something else that went on throughout Slovenia just as the case was inside of the Slovenian villages, cities, homes. That's basically what we are talking about. If I would to summarize, it was actually everything that one can do to destroy, to, to kill one psychologically and health-wise. Those are those merciless, restless, sleepless, nays, days and nights I was compelled to walk in escort of police from one dot to another so that I would endure as much torture as possible what was to be given to Slovenian psychiatric hospital Ljubljana Polje as a main platform. So a reason they're still unfunded. mental illness this video is not about her however this is about just how far this Slovenian politicians uh, talking about the psych like a human mind you know like what exactly is it consists you can see deep inside of this crazy eyes of the politician basically what is hiding behind them? What's hiding behind them is will be the best explained through her husband, this individual here. Uh, who sided with me, supported with me, uh, became entitled to a lot of corruption, managed to open the door to his friends, colleagues, neighbors, uh, financially became extremely wealthy. Compared to myself, these people became a trillionaires. And me, a bugger, less than a bugger on the street. So this is a video dedicated to Slovenian president and her husband.
in a notorious Italian car, Maserati. It was a father-in-law of the Slovenian president, Natasha Pierce Musar. You know what I love about her? Those big fucking eyes, man. Those big fucking schizophrenic eyes. That insane look. I was the one who was guilty for the death of her father-in-law. How that makes me feel to be accused of murdering her father-in-law. How that makes me feel of murdering an individual who I eventually began to support during MK Ultra enough. So he started to gather millions of euros. That's the man that is standing next to her, her husband. And being even guilty for the death of his father. Because to honor me. He purchased Italian car Maserati. Least one in the Germany. Drove on the road. March 2018. The truck which was coming from the opposite direction. Turned into their line. And smashed into a Maserati. Due to which. Maserati. Uh, now I should say Maserati. But because he was my supporter. And because. It was known during MK Ultra that you're not supposed to purchase a Maserati, Lamborghini, Alfa Romeo. Yeah, those are all listed just as Nike, just as, uh, just as Adidas. Those are all listed as a Nazi companies. Yeah, Nazi because I like them. Whatever I liked, it was labeled as a neo-Nazi company. And due to the consequences of this car crash, which must have been my fault since it was a Maserati, yeah, he honored me for the money that he made. He decided he would purchase a Maserati. Which do you like, Maserati? Okay, Maserati, we will buy Maserati. And he leased one through the Germany, and it was obviously somebody that sent him a truck which I am not even denying, but definitely that was not I, that was not myself. However, I was the one who was guilty for a car crash that eventually took life of his father. That's what they stressed to me during MK Ultra that I was the one because of whom this have happened. Uh, eventually that because of whom his father was killed uh, he wanted to kill me he wanted to choke me uh, he promised he swear to me in the face for some time that he will get me kill me I don't know what till he realized my buddy that there is nothing he will be capable to do eventually because in 2018 nobody possibly could deny this case anymore and so he changed his mind and the story was changed 
for what I should credit the police. For him to have survived because it was a mighty Maserati that he drove. Robustni auto means a uh, strong chassis, very safe car, due to which they started to insist him he even survived, as to my having nothing to do with it. You are never gonna, however, I am recording this video because to the eyes like this, to the rotten brain hiding behind, to the schizoid, schizophrenic, mentally ill person like this, you're never gonna really rationalize that. Because it's so scrupulous, it's so criminal, it's so rotten that is hiding inside of those brain. It stinks so much, boy. There's so much violence, frustration, ignorance, fuck up, hiding behind those eyes that I just have to take time and put this video online. Fuck you. Fuck your Maserati. Fuck your support. Fuck your friendship. Fuck your everything you had to offer me because it's really something else. You have done it for, we all know. And stay the fuck away from my father, who is at age 91, again hospitalized, lying on a dead bed because of you. You understand that? Natasha Pierce Moser, just like Borat Pahor, you are not my friend. You were and you are my enemy, the worst kind. The one that any normal human being, as long as you would know that his life was decimated, destroyed, wiped out, would not acknowledge as an enemy. And yeah. You are mentally ill, as fucking ill as it gets. You are a schizophrenic.